Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for TreeStuff.com, and in this short video, we're going to talk really briefly about some of the physical differences between rope construction methods. First, we're going to look at a 12-strand solid braid. You can see here that the strands don't have anything inside of them, and that this rope is completely solid. These ropes have a really heavy strand weight and are very durable, but they are very bumpy and they don't have the best hand. Another type of rope that you'll commonly see is hollow braid. You could confuse this for a solid braid, but the big difference is that when you squish this, there's space inside of the braid, also with no core. Some hollow braids do have a core, uh, which is useful for machine stitching, uh, but these do not. And you can see with the 12 strand, when I swoosh it up like that, you're not able to see that air inside because of the braid type. The next thing that we're gonna look at is a 16 strand rope. 16 strand ropes will usually have some type of parallel cable core or a core in the, a core in the center, and that core is primarily there just to keep the rope round with the majority of the strength bearing being in the jacket. This makes these ropes really easily inspectable. If you don't see damage, there probably isn't damage. And that makes it a nice rope. These are also very durable and they resist to natural crotching, but they are again a little bumpy and may not have the best hand. This is a 24 strand rope. This is Tachyon. All 24 strand ropes, or the ones that we sell, have a braided cover and a braided core. This allows the rope to share the load between the cover and the core, which makes the rope usually stronger by weight and also allows it to have a much smoother cover. These ropes won't resist natural crotching as much and will abrade faster, but they're much better for mechanical climbing devices. A neat feature of Tachyon is that it actually has a third uh, component or a second core. You can see these three twisted purple strands in here. And what these do, they don't contribute to the strength very much, but they help the rope retain its roundness and resist flattening inside of mechanical devices. You do want the rope to flatten a little bit, but this stops it from flattening out like a total pancake. Not all 24 strand ropes have the three strand core. Lastly, we're gonna look at a Kern Mantle rope. There are a ton of different strand counts available in ropes. Generally in Kern Mantle ropes, you're gonna see the highest strand counts or carrier counts, 32, 48, uh, and that's gonna to contribute to a very smooth jacket and then you're gonna have a really heavy weight parallel core, uh, parallel cable core. In most Kermantle ropes, the load is carried by the core and not by the jacket. With the jacket there primarily to aid the rope in feeding through devices, keep low friction, and protect the core from damage. If you ever see the core shooting out of the cover of a Kermantle rope, that's called a core shot. That's something you definitely wanna look at and either isolate from the rope, cut out, or retire the rope entirely. There are a lot of different kinds of ropes that we sell that we didn't necessarily show today uh, and different materials. And you can find more information about that on our YouTube channel or on the product pages on our website. Thanks for watching.